Hey folks, uh, thanks for the presence here. Uh, I'm going to talk about crash kernels, a bit of an, a typical topic here, right? Not graphical, but uh, as Linux users, I guess most of you already face the crash once in a while, right? I am Guilherme Piccoli. I work at Igalia uh, doing core kernel stuff, and currently I'm working on the Steam Deck. So the context of this presentation, the Steam Deck is uh, the well-known game console from Valve, and it has a Linux distro called SteamOS, which is Arch Linux based. Uh, so Arch has no official tool for collecting uh, kernel crash logs. There is a like a wiki, very explained steps, but it's manual. We don't have a tool for that. And so we have uh, that's that's something that would be really nice in SteamOS to be able, uh, if the gamers face some crash, to collect some data. But what data? And at what cost? Right? We want to be lightweight to not, not waste uh, resources, but we want to have enough data. So the message maybe, right, the kernel log. So a uh, little uh, talk about what a kernel oops or panic is. So uh, oops is a, when kernel detects a re error, a bad condition, and the panic is like the reaction uh, of the kernel if that's set. For example, uh, you, could have a, you could set it to reboot, usually it's like that. Uh, some potential panic causes are no pointers, uh, not like code no pointers, but concurrency stuff. Imagine one, one code is writing, the other is reading, but there's no good locking, so it could cause a panic. Lockups, soft lockups, hard lockups, hung tasks. For example, hard lockup is when uh, kernel uh, code is running in RQ context for too much time, so it can, other tests cannot run, right? So you can configure a panic in these cases. Uh, there is the artificial triggered panic uh, through SysRQ. We do that for testing stuff. Uh, bug clause in the code. And what we, can we do when we face a panic? We could do nothing. It's usual, like uh, forget about that. But it's, it's interesting if, if possible to collect data, to take this opportunity and collect some data. Like a VM core, which is a, a, a memory image of the broken kernel or the message, right? So. We have two ways of collecting such data. Kdump is the first one. Is basically the, the broken kernel jumps to another kernel that collects the full memory of the first kernel. Uh, it can uh, compress this memory image, uh, cut the free pages and whatnot. Uh, the interesting thing here is that it's a full, almost a full copy of the memory, but uh, it's good for post-mortem analysis, for example. But the, con, the main con is that it requires a bunch of pre-reserved memory usually 200 megabytes for, for uh, newer kernels. Uh, also, there's risks booting uh, the, the KDump kernel and PCI devices might be in bogus states and we don't have a standard reset mechanism in x86, etc. So it's, uh, it's good, but has cons. Now, collecting most of the data, the PSTOR mechanism is different. So it happens when the panic happens, uh, the PSTOR might save uh, the, the message in some persistent area that we call uh, backend. We have multiple backends like RAM, UFI, variables, block devices. Uh, it's lightweight. It's used on embedded devices on Chromebooks. Uh, it does not require, for example, KXX support, which is good for uh, like embedded devices with secure stuff like Qualcomm. Uh, it's very fast, hopefully, and, and uh, transparent process during the panic time. And it requires almost no memory uh, or or no memory indeed if it's like UFI backend. For RAM, oops, you can reserve like one or two megabytes. Uh, the cons is that it does not save a full VM core. Uh, so we, we save like the, the message. So uh, both infrastructures, KDump and PSTOR, kernel technologies, they require some user space counterpart to, to set that up. Uh, so we present here KDumpst, which is the tool uh, we're working for, for actually it's a generic tool that is PSTOR and KDump. It's available on the, on the user repositories, supports Grub, uh, support both uh, Unity, Perry, and Rakut. We plan to support system uh, debut soon. Uh, it defaults to PStore, uh, removes backend, but uh, we have plans for UFI, and it's very customizable. CCTL, we can set the CCTLs for panic and the crash kernel parameter. Uh, right now, it's the default uh, tool for SteamOS. It's present on the deck as, as the tool for collecting kernel crashes. So that's it. Thanks uh, a lot for your attention. Feel free to reach me on IRC or email.